barbell hip thrust. When we're setting up the hip thrust, what we want to do is make sure that we're close enough to the bench that we can shimmy our way back up and try to get our shoulder blades above the edge of the bench. If the shoulder blades are very low, then the loading lever will change in length, all right? And then we might feel it more in our hamstrings. Okay, so we want to try and load it so that that lever through the torso is a little bit shorter. So we bring those shoulder blades above the edge of the bench. We also want to make sure that we're vertical through our shin when we're at the highest point of extension. Okay, so we've got a nice vertical shin. And we also want to make sure that with regards to the width of our feet, our feet are set about shoulder width apart. Every time we drive up, we're still trying to keep our gaze out over our knees to encourage our chest to stay down and forward. So it encourages our hips to drive more and not arching through the lower back. I can't